jump into it real quick uh, for sake of time, and I appreciate you you uh, taking time from your busy schedule to to come on and share with us. So your your gross recruits are up one hundred nine percent year to date. Okay, which I think anybody would love that. And one of the unique things that you're doing is um, with events and getting R2 agents to show up. Um, I think, again, another thing that we all would, would love to, to have that, that type of um, success. So tell us you know, a little bit about that. You had, what, 81 R2 show up to a recent event that you did. Tell us a little bit about you know, what, you, what you're doing. Um, we'll open it up to some questions. Uh, but how you're getting R twos to show up? How you, how your gross is up 109 uh, percent? Jump in and, and just go for it, Buck. Yeah, thank you, Rich. First of all, thank you for having me. Thank you to all of you that are here today. Uh, I, I would be amiss if I didn't say that the the sort of hockey stick that we're experiencing right now in terms of the appointment set would not be possible without the incredible Milton Sanchez, who is my cyber backer, cyber recruiter. Uh, this has been the secret missing weapon in terms of, of what we've gotten. And we've basically weaponized the recruiting process, for lack of a better word. Um, they, they, they don't stand a chance because of Milton being so awesome. Uh, so a lot of credit goes to you, your organization, for making it possible to basically just add cheese and stir and have a system that elevates what we already did. So to that end, uh, it's only as good as the system that was in place before you add someone like Milton to the team and he is a very very valued probably most important part of our team at this point um, and, and here's basically what it breaks down to it's really really simple um, you're going to be in conversations with the people that you focus on uh, my background is in commercial real estate I come from institutional investment sales I am a relationship builder and if there's a transaction that follows it then so be it but I'd rather have the relationship. And so when I became an investor and a team leader um, and started overseeing a couple different market centers, the goal was I want to hang out with the people that are doing business by creating such a small group of invite only people that they want to be around each other. So it's the, it's, it's the idea of the conversation of you're doing 50 to 100 units a year. That's really awesome. I've got three or four people in my organization that started at 30 to 40 units a year when they joined Keller Williams Realty Southwest in Las Vegas that we were able to elevate from the point of 30 to 40 units a year increase their margin, increase their profit at that point. So then when we scaled to 50 to 100 to 200 units a year, um, they made more money in half the time with a lot less effort. Is that a conversation that you're willing to have? A funny thing happens. When you go get the R2s and the Megas that are producing at that level, everybody who's new in the business wants to hang out with those people. And it makes it that much easier to attract them in so that they can earn into the right to be in the room with those big fish, which is why the class that we taught last month that Milton literally just blew the doors off of in getting butts in the seats, uh, the Blackstone effect was focused around hedge funds in the market of the moment, the way that their venture capital and hedge funds are spending a bunch of money on single family property. And what that does for the inventory issue, not only in Vegas, but where the money is coming to Vegas is from. And at the end of the day, the R2s, let's not be, you know, most of us are R2s that have graduated to this point, right? Most of us are people that lived in that space. There's a bit of ego that goes with that. You got to play to a little bit of vanity. And so by offering them something to make them the smartest person in the room, by helping them become the smartest person in that space and being around those people, there'll be a line out your door to get the R2s. Awesome. All right. So so this was a, an event um, where you were talking about Blackstone and the hedge funds and, and how that relates to property here locally in your market, right? Yep. And, um, and, and who put the event on? You put the event on, you had speakers. How many showed up for the event? Yeah, so uh, I, it was content that I'd created a couple of years ago um, that we just keep adding to. And, and prior to COVID, prior to the pandemic, I don't know about many of your markets, but you know there was restrictions on being able to gather. And, and so we were Blackstone 2.0, Blackstone 3.0. We would add stuff to it to talk about what was occurring in the market. We cleaned the slate. I went back to the curricula that we had created and said, we're gonna start over again because now the market of the moment has changed as a result of why the hedge funds are doing what they're doing. And here's what they've done in the past. Remembering that our industry, most R2s have been in the business five years or less. So they've never experienced a ground shifting, earth shifting, industry shifting event. People like Rich and I who have been here, and this is, I don't know about you, Rich, but this is my seventh world ending event as a real estate licensee and professional, right? 
We yeah. get to show them the advantage of here's what happened the last time. And it's all the same players. They're just showing up in different spaces. So it's a repetitive pattern. Let's educate you on that. So we did the invite. We decided that we were going to put this together. And then I turned Milton loose. I said to him, that's my cyberbacker. You'll hear me refer to him a lot. I know he's here today. Milton, I love you. Couldn't do this without you. Um, we turned him loose. I said, here's the list of people that you should be reaching out to and why. Invite them specifically to an event. Let's create a smart plan around it. Let's follow up inside that smart plan. And every time somebody raises their hand and says, yes, I'd like to learn more. Yes, I'd like to register. That's an invitation to set an appointment. In many of these cases, Milton's initiative was to make it a condition to get the ticket to come into the room with us by having to meet with me first. Okay, excellent. So the system was have an event that people want to come to. Yeah. Right? Right. And then and then call and, and then send out marketing to get people to raise their hand of some level of interest. And then Milton calls them and says, hey, to to gain access to the event, you need to meet with Buck first. Right. Yep. And then so they met with you. And, and then obviously people showed up to the event to the tune of about 81 R2s. Yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. That, that's that's great. So. What, what's been the results um, with the relationships and all the appointments that you've had with these R2s? So that, I'm glad you asked that question. Um, we, we, as, as, it, as luck would have it, uh, three days later was our uh, local association golf tournament. And, uh, you know, what a great excuse. You hit every tee box and you leave a flyer behind and, and you tell, you know, the mortgage sponsor, or the title sponsor, hey, there's a bunch of people here today that I want you to say hello to on my behalf. If I get at least one agent's name to you as the sponsor, as a mortgage person, oh, the lights just went out, as a mortgage sponsor, what have you, from my office that you can potentially do business with, would you ask every foursome that tees off if they happen to be at the Blackstone event last week and what they thought of it? Now, here's what's really cool. You inadvertently create a whisper campaign that makes it look like your event was bigger than it actually was. R 81 R2s is nothing to sneeze at, right? Um, so, so as we make the turn on the first nine, I run into a group that was in my class. And they said, man, you know, I know you deliberately didn't broadcast this over Zoom. I knew that it had to be an in-the-room, in-person only event. I got title people and mortgage people asking me about the class and how devastated they were that they couldn't get in because it was invite only, right? So that's step two. Create an experience that is so curated and so limited that you get your vendor partners in the community, title and mortgage, who are calling on other offices to go, I don't know if you heard about this, but Buck just did this Blackstone class. I learned so much you should go. Now it's brokerage agnostic. It has nothing to do with Keller Williams Realty Southwest. It is brokerage right. agnostic and people get FOMO and want to be part of it. The second part of the feedback is today, Milton launched for me the follow-up class, which is called the Knights Raiders effect. It's the Las Vegas uh, Raiders and the Golden Knights and the effect of professional sports in Vegas. You've got momentum. Those same R2s are now beaten down the door to be here. It's, it's, uh, it's really, really cool. And the phone has already rung three times. Milton, you can chime in and tell us. I think we've had three or four emails, people that are literally canceling their weddings to be there. It's so much fun. So, so Milton, um, tell us what kind of results that, that you're, you're getting from this process in terms of appointments for Buck. Um, they, first of all, um, it's, it's a great opportunity. And um, because of this um, events, uh, we're able to really generate more leads uh, wherein we generate or I was able to book uh, a lot of appointments just, just this morning uh, because of that Blackstone effect, uh, because of like the, the thank you emails, um, the thank you videos that we send out to them, uh, plus the follow up for, for the Raider effect or the Knights uh, Raider effect uh, for this October event. Um, just this morning, I already got like five appointments. Uh, that they want to meet up with Buck and they want to uh, be part of that event because they don't want to miss it. Um, they had, uh, they already missed some of this. They already missed the first event and they don't want to miss the second event. So I think it's just a blockbuster um, having this, um, this events. Uh, plus the fact that um, you're, you'll be able to generate more leads because of this events. Yeah. So, so what, uh, so Buck, what's the, uh, what's the plan in terms of building off of this for, 
you got the follow-up event, you're going to have some more events, and how are you going to keep this momentum going? Yeah, so I, I know that there's a lot of people out there that, that you know, here, here's the thing that nobody, the elephant in the room that nobody talks about when it comes to real estate, being a team leader, being an OP, being a general manager, everybody is teaching some form of content, but it's, it's repetitive content. If I have to sit through one more social media marketing strategies class, I'm going to not only punch myself, I'm going to fly to the Philippines and punch uh, Milton too. I'm joking. I'm not really, I'm not a violent person. The idea is here, it's the same stuff over and over again. So maybe you don't know about Blackstone and hedge funds. Who cares? Find something that you do know about that has absolutely nothing to do with the practice of real estate and build it around the information of real estate. I'll give you a list of topics. Find out what the Airbnb rules are in your town. Teach something on it. Invite people to it. If it's not you, go get the person. The team leader or the OP doesn't have to be the content curator. You've just got to have something that you can teach. Uh, we're going to do the H2O effect, which is going to follow the Raider effect because it's Vegas. It's the desert. There is a very real concern around water. People have a lot of preconceived wrong notions around what that is. The goal is that every month, right, from here on out, Every month, there is a different something, something effect, right? So we're going to do the pandemic effect. And it's, it's going to be scheduled for exactly one year from when Vegas shut down, or, or sorry, the second anniversary of when Vegas shut down. Find content that's curated around something that has nothing to do real, with real estate and everything to do with real estate and offer it at least once a month. Here's why that's cool. It's never going to be a contracts class. It's never going to be a lead generation class overtly. It's never going to be something that anybody else offers so that you can then be the expert in a very limited field, which is where the attraction factor is. You know, Milton's idea to send out these videos uh, once they've committed or once they've said we don't want to come is brilliant because we structured the video. And I know this is Jessica. If she's here, this was Jessica's idea. We totally ripped it off. Um, the, the, uh, the idea was that you make the video short enough and just generic enough that you literally say, hey, it's Buck. I'm so sorry that you're not going to be able to join us. Please let me know if you want to get an invite to the next one. Now they're forced to check in with Milton and go, you know what? I I'd love the next one. Or, hey, it's Buck. I'm so excited you're coming. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you. Bring a friend. They feel like they heard their name but they didn't and it's right to them. Yeah. So you guys following the, the system, right? The video, looking forward to seeing you at the event. Sorry, you can't make it. Let us know if you want to be included in the next one. Having events that are curiosity creating that aren't just the standard you know, real estate stuff that we all teach and all do and all attend, right? Um, so their curiosity is there and then a system around that. And then the system that Milton calls and says, hey, to come to, you know, as you tell me what your script is, but coming to the event, right, you need to meet with Buck uh, ahead of time. And then, and then probably after the event, what did you think of the event? Buck would like to meet with you and share with you some additional strategies um, that he didn't get a chance to cover at the event or something like that, right? And then now there's just more curiosity to get you in front of the people. Is that, is that kind of how that, that works, guys? I would say so, Milton. I mean, you can provide more input since you're the front lines on this. The, the other really fun thing is we end every, I would encourage you all to end every session with the following version or the, your version of the following phrase. I don't care where you hang your license. I actually do. That's the whole reason you're here. But yes, and I don't care where you hang your license. I'm looking to elevate our industry. I want to make us better collectively. So for my education and for your future content, Will you let me know how you've implemented what you've done today? Huge fan of yours, genuinely. I need you to be good so I can be better. And you cannot compete with me because I want you to win too. Tell me how you implemented this. I'd love to know how you implemented this. Would it be okay if I had Milton check in with you in about a month to see what from our class we can focus on for another standalone session? A funny thing happens. You start to get text messages 48 hours later. Oh my goodness, that one thing you said about Blackstone just won me a listing. Holy cow, my investors had no idea who they were competing with. Thank you. My broker had no idea what I was talking about. There's the hook. Really? Can you set up an appointment with your broker? I'm not going after you overtly. Can you set up an appointment with me and your broker so I can bring this content into your house? Game over, y'all. They don't know what hit them and you walk out of there and people start thinking maybe even the broker goes, well, I might want to close up shop and join Buck. 
Uh, well, Buck, you're being the local expert, as we wish all of our agents would be. So you're just role modeling, but we're going industry, aren't we? Oh my God, that's Jessica Fox, one of my favorite people on the planet. Huge fan. I have all your albums. I'm so happy you chimed in. Good to see you. Awesome. That's exactly what he's doing. So tell us a little bit about um, two things. One is how, how often are, are you doing these events monthly? You, you, you recommended that you do that, but have you been doing this you know, month after month and has this been going on all year? Did you just start this? And then what kind of results are you seeing with your R2 appointments and R2 hires? I'm glad you asked that. So when I took over as a team leader, a lot of people in my head's region, their, their heads exploded because I went through all the team leader boot camp stuff. And at the end, they said, what do you think? And I said, well, I'm not doing any of that. And they looked at me and I went, I'm not doing any of it. I said, I have, I've turned around several businesses in my life. I'm a commercial guy. I'm not talking to somebody who's going to ask me how to fill out a contracts thing. That's just not going to happen. It's not the highest and best use of my time. Unless they've done 40 units a year or more, they haven't earned the right to speak with me. And like heads in the room start turning around. I was like, they, they are going to throw me out this window of the Keller Williams headquarters. And I said, and here's how I'm going to do it, right? I said, I'm going to get certified to teach every subject under the sun in my MLS and divisional association. And I'm going to get in front of as many people without asking them for the business and then find out, make a mental note, raise your hand if you do 20 units, raise your hand if you do 50 units, raise your hand if you do X number of units. And they're being written down so that I know who to contact. The recruiting effort for us prior to COVID leading up to this was, there, there's the system and model that I did use, right? The, the Keller Williams system, you know, put a plan together. The idea was to teach as much as possible so that you become known as a pseudo professor of our practice at a really high level. Then I built a faculty around me. I went to my top producing agents in the market center and at other offices around town and said, look, I wanna build a master faculty around what it is that I teach. This will help you if you become a teacher on my faculty in your listing and buyer consults. Here's your mega recruiting opportunity because who's not gonna to wanna to hire somebody after a listing or a buyer consult that says, look, I'm teaching people how to write these contracts in the MLS. This is why you want to hire me as your agent, because I'm giving them the best practices and I can beat them because I taught them everything they know, not everything I know. So now you've built your moat. You've got a faculty around you. Every time you teach, you pack the room. And here's where we've won. COVID hits, learning shifts online. We continue to teach post-licensing and continuing education. Every month, there's anywhere from 70 to 90 people in that pipeline. So we've got a CE course curriculum that's happened, and then a specialty class course curriculum that's happened. So during your teaching for the division or the association, you can invite them to the big event. And then I turn that list over after every class that we've taught. There's a sign-in sheet. they got to check in. I give the list to Milton. He goes and marries that. We use Market View Broker instead of Broker Metrics at our firm because it's a little bit easier for us. Um, he marries the phone numbers and emails and they immediately go into your feeder campaign to invite them to the process. So from a place that they're learning, now you want to learn even more. Here's your state mandated education. Now I'm going to give you something that'll blow the socks off of your client base. That's great. So um, tell us a little bit about your, your gross up 109%. How is this translating into you getting recruits? Yeah, so it's exciting. It's a big number, right? Um, we we got um, we got really disproportionately hit when, when the COVID shutdown happened. So to be fair, and, and you know, the, 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 there's a story in the numbers, but the number isn't always the story, right? Um, we had a really difficult time processing people in because of a paperwork issue because everything was closed. So there's a bit of that there. The fundamental difference though for us, where we really started to win big was being able to talk to the R2s, a majority of that 109% are R2s in our market, by the way, by saying, look at the consolidation of the industry. You're seeing more agents at the top level take more listings with roughly 50% of the available inventory. How is that possible? Somebody's going hungry, right? So by, by, by mating that conversation to the, the top people are taking more listings, how can you be with them? It automatically creates a feeder system for agents that are R1s and R0s, or maybe have been on the cusp of R2 to feed onto teams. That's been our secret win. Our teams are recruiting at such a high level because the decision is now, do I get out of the business or do I go broke? Well, there's a third way. 
right? And that's where the secret sauce has been. And again, Milton's been instrumental in that. They put him into the program. We pay for productivity coaching at our market center. You cannot fail in real estate with us. You can only quit. And that's what the secret sauce is. That's great.